Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Let's continue with your phone calls. And at the start of the next segment, I will have to hold a little while because I'm going to get into news. More news. But right now, let's go to Bob in Wisconsin. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Uh, thanks for taking my call. It's an honor. Honor to talk to you, brother. Thanks for putting up with me. Um, I start off by saying that uh, I'm 57 years old, and uh, I found the fundamentals of uh, your worldview uh, back in the late 70s. I was uh, turned on to uh, none dare call it a conspiracy <clears throat> from a uh, Vietnam veteran uh, that I met out in Boulder, Colorado. I was kind of tramping around the United States, staying at a hippie flop house, and I ran into this guy, and we'd go to a library during the day, and he turned me on to all these books. <clears throat> So I've been pretty wide awake there, uh, you know, since then. And I've watched all of this unfold for the last 40 years. Boy, I tell you, Gary Johnson, who's, um, no, who wrote None Dare Call a Conspiracy? Gary Allen. Gary Allen. Gary Johnson's the... the there was another guy with him, though, too. Yeah, that I was uh, Abraham. That was, yeah, yeah. yeah, I've had his son on. Yeah, no, I was conflating him with the uh, Republican governor of New Mexico, former governor. Yeah, Gary Allen, can you believe... His son runs Politico and serves the New World Order and makes fun of us when we cover Bilderberg. And his father literally wrote a book that predicted the future and has and may may actually save us because it woke up so many people, 10 million copies in print. I mean, can you believe, can you imagine your son betraying you like that? I just, I just, that was, I know, I know Gary Allen's dead, but I just couldn't imagine being a great journalist like Gary Allen and writing that book that he put out at cost, so 10 million copies got out. We sell it, by the way, today, and back in print. Written in what, 1972? 71 or 72, yeah. Matter of fact, I got you the, the, the newsprint I got. I got from InfoWars. Um, it's I, unbelievable. I, 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 it's I, unbelievable. I mean, I don't want to digress, but can you imagine if you were such a patriot and then your son, but like, literally joined the emperor? Imagine if you were Darth Vader's father. I mean, that's what it's basically like. Go ahead, sorry. No, I couldn't imagine that because I have three boys in their uh, in their adult age now. I've been married thirty nine years, and they're in their thirties. And and you know, I gave them the information that I got out of that book. And what's funny about it is that you know I was warning everybody for years and being ridiculed and laughed at. And and when nine eleven happened, it got by me. And uh, you know, my my oldest boy was telling me, "Look, Dad, it was an inside job. This was probably around two thousand six." He was telling me, that, look at that, it was an inside job. Here's the proof, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> and I said, you know, look, these, this government's got some messed up people in it, but it ain't that bad. And they turned me on to a couple more books. And my oldest son did, and he turned me on to you. And I said, oh, my God, it's all happened. Just like my worst fears. And uh, I appreciate what you're doing, um, because for years, I knew what you knew, and I didn't do nothing about it. Well, brother, you did. You had three great sons and educated them, and then you got busy with life, and then they came back and woke you back up again. That's how it works. And in Gary Allen's book, Like a Sleeper Cell, is out there with all these people. I mean, listen, I grew up with John Bircher's coming over when I was like one, two, three years old. There was a John Bircher who lived next door uh, that would keep me when my mom went to the grocery store and stuff. Um, Bobby Vaughn, he's dead now, and uh, he'd crank up, you know, Rock and roll music, and uh, you know we sit there, and uh, he was he was a fun guy. I remember when I was a kid and playing with me. But but the whole point was is then he but he would just constantly talk at night, drinking beer at my parents' house. He was over there every night, you know, the neighbor uh, with his girlfriend, just constantly about the new world order, new world order, new world order. Banks going to take over, blah 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 blah. And I just sat there listening to that, and like a sleeper cell. Later than I read the book, because I heard I saw him handing out the books, talking to my dad. Everything, of course, my dad was already awake, but that's how it works, brother. Uh, you never got to your point about the missing plane. What do you think's going on, Bob? Well, I get things hijacked. Uh, you know, there's only uh, one power on this planet that's got the ability and the capability uh, and the nerve and the audacity and the arrogance to steal a plane with 240 souls on it. You know, we know who that is. I don't think I have to come around and tell you that. 
uh, it's the United States government that took that plane and what, what they got up their sleeves, I have no idea. I hear you. Probably. <laughs> Who knows? My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Will you fight? Right? Against that? No! We will run! And we will live! Alright? Fight and you may die. Run and you'll live. At least a while. And dying in your beds many years from now. Would you be willing to train all the days from this day to that for one chance? Just one chance to come back here and tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! Rallying patriots worldwide in defense of human liberty, it's Alex Jones. Folks, let's get into the news. It's breaking up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Paul Watson's got a new article out dealing with the EU's stunning hypocrisy on Crimea, institution that ignores its own citizens' referendums, declares Crimean vote as undemocratic. TSA uh, polices St. Patrick's Day parade. That's right. Now we've got the uh, TSA uh, out at the St. Patrick's. Uh, Day parade searching people. Just total police state takeover. U.S. and EU making Europeans suffer is a, quote, price worth paying to punish Russia over Ukraine. Go read who said that. Amazing. That's open uh, globalist talk. A new form of GMO sneaking into food supply this year. 
I'm going to be getting into that article. That is just some of the news up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. But here is the top story uh, this hour. <coughs> this is a report out of the Washington Post. We're going to cover some more news and go back to your phone calls. Chris, Robert, Laura, Tom, Travis, and others that are patiently uh, holding. And I love an article like this because it really just illustrates everything I'm talking about. And then we're going to give you the rest of the story on it. What's in this article is not just the news that the Internet's being handed over to someone. They say they don't know who. It's that you could write an article like this where the Washington Post says we don't know who's getting control of the Internet. That's like saying we're going to have World War III and it's going to happen in 10 minutes, but we don't know who we're having it with. We're going to have a Super Bowl tomorrow, but we don't know who the Super Bowl players are. You know, we don't know who the teams are. I don't know if it's the Washington Post writer, Craig Timberg. Is this stupid? Or whether they think you're that stupid. Actually, I know he's not stupid. They, they don't want to tell you. That's how stupid they think you are. It's on record that under international treaties in the last 20 years, they've already signed over most of the Internet. That's why hidden in the headline is the answer. And by the way, this is not my opinion. I mean, I'm going to go over some evidence of this in a moment. They know full well it's the U.N. getting control. And by U.N., the private interests that sit on those boards. And it's the U.N. that wants CISPA and SOPA-style legislation to censor free speech. So don't forget that. And that's why Congress is getting behind shining over the Internet that DARPA created, that Americans paid for, the core technology. And by the way, will you guys queue up uh, the, the, the John D. Rockefeller? We, we'd be better without the Internet because he's the guy involved in all this. Thank you. U.S. to relinquish remaining control over the Internet. That's the headline. U.S. officials announced plans Friday to relinquish federal government control over the administration of the Internet, a move that pleased international critics but alarmed some business leaders and others who rely on smooth functioning of the web. That's code for we don't want an end to net neutrality. We don't want to be under EU law censoring free speech. We don't want to be under an Internet tax. And by the way, that's what's in there, and, and that's what's actually in other news publications, mainline news. That's what Google is saying. I'm not normally saying Google's good guys, but if they even understand their interest is threatened, even though they're a large part of the new order system, this is being transferred basically to the EU that runs the UN. Now, we're going to get to Senator Rockefeller here in a moment, but listen to this. Pressure to let go of the final vestiges, see it's already been done, of U.S. authority over the system of web addresses and domain names that organized the Internet has been building for more than a decade and was supercharged by the backlash last year to revelations about national uh, security agency surveillance. See how all the other governments do it, all the big corporations do it. It's all about how America's doing it. We've got to turn the web over to the U.N. They'll fix it. See how they do this? Because it's globalist above America playing us off against others. The change would end the long-running contract between the Commerce Department and the Internet Corporation for assigned names and numbers, ICANN, a California-based nonprofit group that the contract is set to expire next year but could be extended if the transition plan is not complete. Now, I've, I've been covering this for 15 years, really, since I learned a little bit more about it. The UN is constantly saying they want to remove most people's domains and tax the other domains uh, and in free speech. And you can look that up. I mean, just type in UN wants to tax domains or UN wants to take domains. And that's why they've got all the names, biz and gov and org. And they're going to come in and say, you can't do this on that. You can't do that. I mean, it's all happening. It's all being announced. Now, let's continue. In a statement, Senate Commerce Chairman John D. Rockefeller called the move consistent with other efforts the U.S. and other allies are making to promote free and open Internet and to preserve and advance the current multi-stakeholder model of global Internet governance. You hear that? Global Internet governance. 
And by the way, there's a big...